I'm Courtney Hagen, I'm a proud bachelor in Gubby Gubby woman and I'm here to talk through the evolution of Cricket Australia's Indigenous kids. In 2018, Cricket Australia hosted the National Indigenous teams to go over to retrace the steps of the 1868 Aboriginal uh, cricket team. Over there they played at Lords, um, they played in many other um, incredible cricket venues that are very prestigious to the cricket community. From that tour uh, we also had the Walkabout Wickets logo made into a beautiful sheet and that sheet has made its way around many grounds around Australia which is really beautiful. The um, Walkabout Wickets uh, is to do with the uh, past, present and future. Um, the past ones might mean um, passed on and to the ones that remain up today. From there, the Walkabout Wickets logo was incorporated onto the collar of the Men and Women's Ashes uniforms in 2019. With the help from Aunty Fiona, we established the first National Indigenous jersey and that was part of Reconciliation Round, the inaugural Reconciliation Round, which happened in 2020 and worn uh, by the Australian women's cricket team. That was the commitment that Cricket Australia made. Myself and Shelley Nitschke at the time uh, took that moment in the middle of the uh, walkabout wickets sheet to show our commitment to reconciliation uh, and we performed the first barefoot circle. That uniform was auctioned off and raised money for some Indigenous youth centres in Canberra. From there, the shirt was had evolved further into uh, the men's T20 kit. It's a black kit, it's long sleeved. Um, it was really special to see the men's team wear that out in their T20 series. The uniform itself has taken on different looks and feels, but the story is all very much the same. It's all about celebrating the first 11 cricket team and telling the story of where we've come from as, as a sport and as First Nations athletes, all the way through to where we want First Nations cricket to go in the future. The 2022 kit was an ODI kit that was worn by both the men and women's teams. It was the first time we had both the national teams wear the same kit. This was influenced by some of the First Nations players that play for both the men and women's Australian uh, team. As you can see, there's uh, some tracks on there, uh, which is a little bit different. You can see the beautiful evolution of the colour change from uh, green and gold all the way through to that dusty uh, orange, which represents that grounding in the earth. That's all built us through the last you know, four different uniforms all the way through to the T20 World Cup men's uh, uniform which has been designed by Aunty Fiona and uh, collaborated with myself. Um, we're very excited about the uniform. The beautiful thing about our culture is that we continue to tell our stories through artwork and this is Cricket's story and uh, the evolution of the 1868 team. Um, you couldn't imagine that now that it's going to be on the world stage. There's something really special about this team wearing this kit. We represent the Torres Strait Islander flag and the Aboriginal flag and their colours as part of this uniform. It's a very bright and vibrant uniform which uh, really gets into the theme of what World Cups are all about, which is excitement and bringing people together. That's really special and it's really exciting and we're taking our culture onto the world stage. Mm -hmm.